Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. And this video is to let you know about my September webinar. I am launching it today. And this, video, this webinar is very timely for the time frames that we're coming into, also the energies. Some of you may have noticed around the August 29th full moon, what happens around full moons? People make their wishes, the dreams of their heart, the wishes of their heart. And afterward, it is all those things that start to move out of the way. But what a lot of you may have noticed is a really strange depression feeling was pervasive in the air, in the atmosphere. You may have noticed a lot of intensity around the lion's gate as well. And some people did let me know that they were also having really good connections with their twin and a lot of their higher connections. That's what you want to keep going. That is uh, what my webinar is for, is to give you uh, some of the answers and also enable you to bring in your higher connections. So my webinar is called Universally Free to Fly. It's getting those things out of the other uh, subtle bodies that you have Many of you are starting to perceive your bodies. And do you know how you know? You know this in your heart, but you know it when you've been hearing your twin flame call you across the dimensions and the timelines, and your twin is saying things like, wait for me, I'm almost done, or I, they may, you may be hearing things that are saying, we're not ready to go yet, I need more time, or I'm doing something, wait for me. When you hear these things, these are actually you using your cosmic level chakras to be, perceive your own connections. And I want to let you know, you're going to see a really great divide here with people who can actually read you and your twin flame and even yourself, being able to discern your own higher energies and your higher connections. That's what my webinars are for the universe. This is you putting yourselves back together into oneness and it is happening step by step. It is a process. It There are no mistakes being make it, made. There is actually uh, quite an efficiency about this. The Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine are very efficient and what you will find is that by doing some simple things, you're able to adjust yourself and get through these times. I want you to feel empowered and I want you to fully expect your true love. And people that are talking you out of it really are only going to be reading the old mental, emotional, and the ego. So what I want to tell you is Many of you last weekend may have also felt this crushing pain on your chest, especially this bone right here, right here. This is actually where a lot of your uni old universal and cosmic and earthly heart connections are. And the heartache, the heartache of breaking up with the old mental, emotional, and the ego breaking off you will be felt very physically. I don't wish this upon you. I just went through it myself. My webinar is a response to what do you do about this and to make it real easy because I know, I know a lot of you have families, you have jobs, you got to keep things going. You are expected to maintain. It's the very thing I hear, but Patricia, I need to make money, but Patricia, I have kids, but Patricia, I, I, I don't know what to do and I need to do this. And the next time that you feel it's at a crisis pitch, you're going to be able to do something about it. Do it from your privacy, do it uh, with yourself, with your inner connections. Only you have those inner connections. So it's going to be the breakup of everything that you and your twin either have been attached to 
um, that they're still hung up in, that they're still focusing on, or that they're distracting themselves with. And I'll give you an idea. Um, I myself was born in an Air Force hospital. My dad was in the Air Force. It was during the Cuban Missile Crisis, and it was not a fun time. He picked the Air Force as the lesser of all the evils, uh, rather than being drafted into the Army. But years later, as an older man, uh, I went out to visit him in Arizona, and he would sit in his chair and he had the military channel on all the time. He was actually stuck in this cycle on that gerbil wheel. This is what you're going to find with your twin is sometimes they need your help breaking out of this stuff because it is has been a part of their mental and emotional bodies with the ego telling them it'll never be different. It'll never be the same. This is how it always is. This is how I survive. No, it's not. Help them crack out. It will be military. It will be religion. It will be the government. It will be companies, either companies they've been a part of or companies that they've started or a business. It could be something that, anything that you at one time have given your heart and soul to. I myself had a lot of grief letting go of a one job where I, we helped build it. We set up the department. We were able to run things in our way, a new way. And we were melding all the best ideas together. This was years ago. I had another wave of that grief. That's the sadness. That's the heaviness. That is the crushing pain on your heart. The grieving, the sadness, the remorse, the regret, the what ifs, the uh, if only. It's reaching for old comforts. And it's not that you don't have a plan. You do have an exit plan. You have your partner and they are your twin flame. So it's going to be even enemy, somebody that you or your twin have, has focused on as the bane of your existence, which is not your twin flame. Your twin flame it has a tendency to show you the things that need to go. It will be soulmates. This is going to be spouses. This is going to be boyfriends, girlfriends, friends with benefits. Um, it could be even friends that you know in another life. I myself had uh, have a friend who we knew each other in the Pallades. I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. And we had to break up our old relationship. And it's keeping everything out of your union, karmic relationships with anything, and false twins. And this does include mental, emotional false twins. I talk about that in my webinar in detail. The gateway was the August Lion's Gate of this year. Now, there have been Lion's Gates every year leading up to this time. This time, the gate is wide open. Everything is going to come washing through and flooding through you. And you're going to feel it physically. Rather than suffering or tumbling around in it, I give you some tools to do something to alleviate and shift it higher. Because that's where your abundant flow is. It's not down here at this level for a lot of people. There will still be people that keep things going, that grow the food. And, you know, some of them may be awakened people. And that's the calling of their heart. But if it's not the calling of your heart, and you're here tapping into uh, the higher love energy to be the lover that you've always been, that's what you're here to do. And that's why it's a good idea to get my webinar. Okay, it's now open and ready to flow. I have exercises. So just so you know, uh, part of the reason I didn't do a video since the Lionsgate video. I was busy getting all of this ready. I myself have lived through it. I have made it concise. I've put it into a format because I know you got a job to get to. You also have uh, your own things that you're trying to set up. You have, so what I have in here is the early morning light body primer. This is a good one to get started in your morning right from first light. One thing I'll mention is that as the changing of the seasons, honor your body, get to bed earlier. Um, you'll probably be waking up when it's getting darker and flow with the body adjustment. Your body will adjust seasonally. It will adjust to the diurnal rhythms. Work with it. 
be cooperative. Your crystal light body, it's no longer human. That crystal light body is expanding and it's expanded out to the universe and the cosmos. And some of the things that you'll find is that your twin is lightened up. You may remember this guy. He could not take his helmet off to save his life because he was still connected to the military, the government, and the religion, and the company, and soulmates. And he's been kicked to the curb. And you've got the new masculine, new divine masculine. He's beach ready. And he's ready to embrace his new electric and magnetic divine feminine. And they're ready to be the love. And some of the things that you'll find that people are throwing around out there, the Matrix twins, you know, this one's the Matrix, that one's not, things like that. Okay, those are a good description, but what's the Matrix? It's that glass ceiling. And he is actually saying, come on, I'm ready to help you out of there. I'm going to crack that glass ceiling. Stop thinking that the answers are only in this or that thing. The answers, where are they? They are found in loving each other. Sorry, put your hand down. They're found in loving each other. With loving each other so much that you're willing to help clear and clean each other. And I, I'm sorry, I'm going to say this. I don't care if you tell me, but I've already done this. You're getting ready for a whole new level. Really focus and get good at some things. It will serve you well. You don't want to put this on the back burner or the side burner. You want to be able to flow together the way that is very natural to you. And there will be naysayers out there. I'm here to tell you that as a Blu-ray, I am one of the prototypers. I am one of the people that is living through this. I do talk quite a bit about mental emotional disturbances, mental illnesses. Not here to diagnose anything. What I am here to tell you is uh, doing some, allowing your body to, your inner body to remove these things. And how do you do that? It is to bring in and open your connections. You have your own connections. The twin that you may, you know, may or may not have contact with, they also have half your connections. And catching some of those red flags or catching some of those warning signals, your body is warning you. If you start feeling things here, if you start feeling head stress, head pressure, this is your go-to stuff. This is uh, the morning light body primer that helps you set up your day. I go over that in detail. The lover's high heart clearing, right here, right here. That heartache, that's what that's to help with. Your interpersonal clearing of universal karma, that's going to be the soulmate breakups, the karmic relationships, all the things where it looks like your twin keeps retreating right back into it. But Patricia, I talked to my twin, I told them, and they ran for the hills. They ran right back into that thing. Stop recharging their batteries. Stop it. How do you stop it, though? Because I will never tell anyone, don't interact with your twin fame. But you have to use the wisdom of your age, not the age of your age, the wisdom of your soul. And you are clearing out that interpersonal chakra so that you're in there. Because what happens is everyone starts to put their wires of connection right back into your heart and guess where the twin flame fell. Guess what when they're in a situation like a marriage and I also talk about divorce in there. I talk about spiritual divorce and divorcing yourself from everything. I don't talk about the actual legalities and mechanics of divorce because there are three countries in the world that still have no divorce law. But it starts at the level where these agreements are made and it has to get concluded and you have to bring in and open your higher connections. So clearing off some of this stuff, that's what this video is for. And these things, 
This is 17 minutes. This is 6 minutes. This is 8 minutes. These are minutes out of your day. What does it cost you to spend 6 or 7 or even 20 minutes out of your entire day to do some of these things for your union? The blue and golden ray elevating, that's especially for Blu-ray people and people who identify themselves as coming here from the new earth. I also have clear your emotional body, okay? We get emotional about the things that we've loved. We get emotional about those spouses. We get emotional about those companies. We miss people. Everybody does. We ourselves are missed on both parts of the veil. We really are. Our friends from home miss us, and we miss them. And we do miss people, and some of these wide open spaces are very painful. They're isolating, they're lonely. I talk to a lot of people who are actually in physical pain or at the level where they almost have to be on a government disability payment, and yet, yeah. Breaking up with the government, that's one of the things because getting you into your full flow means you can say bye-bye government assistance, don't need you anymore, I am flowing, my abundance is kicking in. But you get that by clearing some things. You're not here to be under everything's thumb anymore. And it is a process, be patient with yourself. Patience and persistence here. The last one I have is Diamond Love Bubble. This one, this one is especially good for what? If you feel that your twin flame is chasing or, you know, seeking others, they're, and a lot of their energies, they keep trying to place it down, replug it in, stick it somewhere, especially the old electric, old electric masculine or feminine. They, uh, what you're doing is you're clearing and you're uh, sealing yourself in with this. Like you're sealing in your purity. You're holding everything in the heart. You're keeping it here where it belongs. Now this actually feels good because this is, this is where your energy should be at. And a lot of people are still going to be feeling pains in lower parts of your body. The legs, the feet, the knees. Uh, the hips, the lower back, the spine, and especially here in the heart. Heart, the head, the temples, it can feel like pressure and stress. I myself had huge heartache. As a Blu-ray, I realized how many things I had created and propped up over lifetimes. The Atlantean priesthood, the Melchizedek priesthood, the this, that, and the other thing. And... Uh, divorce. I'm going to talk briefly about divorce. Divorces will happen. Having it happen in the most fair and amicable way possible and getting your own guidance on what that is. What is that for your union? What does it mean to your union? That's what you want to be able to do. That is going to be setting yourself up in the morning where your guidance comes from your higher self, a higher level, and not from your head. Because your head will take you, it'll get real emotional to haggle over those last bits of things. It'll tell you, what is it that you can cut loose? What is your future? What are the abundant things you're going to do or have with your own twin flame? For some of you, your twin flame has set up a platform. Some of you are actually going ahead and starting up some things that your twin will come into. Stick to your own true love story. And the heartache. I want to tell you this. This is very, 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 very real. It can feel anxious. It can feel like an anxiety attack. It can feel like you want to escape. It can be very nervous energy. Use these to balance yourself. If you do need to go to a hospital, and I am giving you these on the proviso that you know that you're generally very healthy or you're aware of what your physical ailments or issues are. These are not a replacement for medical care. These are in addition to all of your other proper maintenance. This is for your metaphysical body. This is 
for you to really pull in your fifth dimensional consciousness. This level of living is never going to be the fifth dimension. I don't care how many people write about heaven on earth. It's going to be as good as it gets. But as you can see, there's explosions all over the world with people cracking this stuff off. And they're going to be small explosions. It will be the person that's a petty tyrant in your house. Or it's going to be the person that's a petty tyrant in North Korea. There's no difference in the dynamics. It's on this scale or it's on this scale. It's like, well, it's just a little child abuse. Oh, it's really big child abuse. Oh, it's just a little bit of animal abuse. Oh, it's really big animal abuse. It's, you know, I don't really abuse my spouse. I just yell at them and cut them down and uh, this, that, and the other thing and, you know, take out my frustrations. There's a thing to know is that the tension, the tensions that are here, which are financial, sexual, um, they are survivalistic tensions. Translates on your heart as heartache. Get it out. That's the best thing I can say. Work on it to get it out. You'll be doing yourself and your twin flame a favor. Whatever, regardless of whatever you may think of their habits and behaviors. I do also do private one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions and consultations. I do couple sessions with people. One of the things that I want to say to you is that um, even when you're a couple and you're together and you're living together and, I really, and there are people coming together, they have reached out, they've let me know. Nobody's required to let me know, but they have. That's a fallacy that people are not coming together. There are. They're willing to make a go of it, and they are very brave and courageous, and they're not crazy. They're going with what they know in their heart to be true. And it becomes a challenge to get rid of this stuff, all of this stuff. And one of the questions is, how do we stop, you know, bickering? Because the bickering gets very amplified. How do... You know, what, hap what is happening when I feel my twin pulling away? It's in my webinar. Get my webinar and find out the details and find out what do you do with it. Because what you should do is not argue. Go into action. Use your body to alleviate this stuff. Your crystal body is, your crystal light body is your instrument. Learn how to play it harmoniously. Learn how to work with it learn about it it's going to not only serve you well you're taking it with you out into the rest of the universe this is not an earthly thing these things are happening here on earth so that you can fully divest it think of earth as sort of this hospital where there's a quarantine we're not letting these explosions out into the rest of the universe anymore this is it this is your zero point this is the place where you actually will be able to fully divest it and sufficiently come together so that you can line up all your chakras, merge together, become the lovers, and get back home to where you're really from. And a lot of you do know this. You know and you're saying, but I talked to my twin. Talking isn't going to cut it. I talked about that uh, heart communication in my flying webinar. If you don't know what I'm talking about, about heart communication, it's not telepathy. It's not staring and sending thoughts to your twin. It's true heart communication. Get the crud off your heart. Now, the, the last thing I'm going to say here is um, there, oops, there are waves of people that are intended to come together. This energy is very watery. It's like steam. It is going to show up in the weather. It's going to be all messages about rain, steam, humidity. Uh, weather patterns are reflecting some of this. This is not something messing with you. If your head is telling you that, that's just wrong. There is an acceleration effect here for people to come together for those obstacles to be moved out of the way. And water washes things away, watery energy and emotion. You could uh, call it, uh, like if you look at racial tensions, and a lot of those are uh, based in financial. 
uh, economics, supply and demand, financial. We don't need any more of these people. We have enough trouble as it is. But it shows up as racial tension. And how do we move that? It's the love that moves these mountains. But the, the true love, the higher love. And op being able to get the heartache off and fully expand your heart and let your true connections. And yes, some of this, these exercises you should do on a daily basis. I'm doing them myself. I practice what I preach. After every session, I go and I clear. And it just has to be that way. Um, a lot of you will find your own ways, especially if you're a Blu-ray this can be a very good jumping off point for you. And yes, especially for those blue diamond and black diamond people. And you know who you are. You know who you are uh, doing some of the higher level stuff. Your uh, platinum ray. And you met your person and all your stuff's on hold uh, while there's the larger setup is been being orchestrated. You're still going to come together. And... Uh, what I'd like to say to you is my webinar is available for purchase. It will be at the link down below. It will be on my website. And my website is www.twinflamesmerge.com. And if you have any trouble once you've purchased it accessing the videos, please let me know. I have all of my information in the webinar. It's, it, once again, a lot of uh, info packed into us. You know, take, take, you're taking about a month or more of, of stuff, because I was actually writing some of the stuff uh, August of 2014, and it's packed into this webinar. It's been edited. It's been thoroughly gone over and made very concise so we can cut to the chase. Because we all want to be in love, right? That's the goal here. That The goal, we're, that's our eternal state of being is being in love and having your true love with you. So thanks so much for listening. I know that you'll have a wonderful weekend. Um, keep ahead of things and check out my webinar. Thanks. Bye now.